Hey there everyone, we're now hunting for mushrooms in a little park outside of Lexington, Massachusetts, and we've made an amazing discovery, the likes of which I haven't seen in pretty much all my years of collecting mushrooms. Let me show you what we've got. So, we're looking for something called the bicolor bolete, and that's what these are. This is the bicolor bolete, bicolor because it's red on the top and yellow in the pores here. And I think it's been recently reclassified away from bolete into some other genus, which I don't recall right now. But look at the quantity we have here. And the amazing thing is, if we zoom out a little bit, we could see clumps over here and over there and over there. Look at the amount of them. And I think all of this forms a gigantic fairy ring of bicolor bolites. I think that's what's happening here. This is all one fairy ring of these mushrooms. And these clumps of them, I've got to say, I've never seen anything like it. Look at this. And there are at least four such clumps that we're going to go to. They're over here, they're over here, and they're over here. And this is the main attraction here. Look at this. That's, that's not believable to me. All right, so I'm just signing back on here for a little bit just to express what an extraordinary event this is. In all of my years of mushroom hunting, this is the largest single find I've ever seen. This is the single biggest find of bicolor bolites. This enormous fairy ring of bicolor bolites goes all the way around. And here's our bag that we just filled up and we can't take any more. But I mean, look at this. This is your prototypical bolitus edulis king bolete. It's just growing randomly here. Uh, I, I've never seen anything like this. So. I'm going to sign off, and I'm just going to take in the scenery a little bit more. So all in all, we took about 10 pounds worth of the bicolor bolites, and maybe a few more pounds of king bolites that were also nearby, plus a couple of other interesting things like frost's bolete, pretty uncommon around here, so I was happy to find it, and also old man of the woods, which I think is very underrated, but it's very tasty, highly recommended. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. See you next time.